Mobile gaming just got a whole lot better. Hey, what's up guys? Josh Refusion here. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to play mobile games on PC using Google Play games. So guys, this literally just came out. And I'll leave the link to this in the description. And I'll also show you guys how to use Google to get here in a second. Basically, what Google did was make a safe, real way to play all of your Android mobile games on your PC. In the past, we've seen other tools such as Blue Blue stacks and other Android emulators being used on PC, but I'm just really glad to see Google making a safe, real way to play these games on PC. But without any more talking, let's hop into it. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe to Fusion here for more awesome tutorials like this in the future. So now that you're on your search engine, you want to search up Google Play Games. And it's not going to be this first result that comes up, but it's going to be this second result here. Now, once you're on the Google Play Games site, it's going to say, take mobile gaming to your PC, explore and play mobile games on PC with Google Play Games beta. To get started, download it on a computer that meets the minimum requirements. So let's check out the minimum requirements here. Windows 10, you need to have an SSD with 10 gigabytes of available storage space. You need to at least have Intel UHD graphics 630 or comparable. You need to at least have four CPU cores and some games require an Intel CPU. You need to have at least eight gigabytes of RAM. You must have a Windows admin account and hardware virtualization must be turned on. But now that we know the minimum requirements of Google Play games, let's download the beta and hop into it because I'm sure most of you meet the minimum requirements. We're gonna click on download beta. And now that we have the installer downloaded, we're gonna run it. Install Google Play games. It wants us to pick a location. All right, so I found the SSD that I wanted to install it on and now I'm gonna hit this green install button in the bottom right a little thing from Windows just popped up saying do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device you want to hit yes it's downloading it's already half done it's 70% done it's 80% done and it's 100% done that was a very fast install looks like it has a second installing bar now and we're in it says welcome to Google Play games beta Sign in with Google. To play across devices, sign in with the same Google account you use on your phone. All right, that's easy enough. All right, and once you sign in with your Google account, it's gonna say confirm your profile. This is me. I remember somebody took my name, so I had to be Fusion here one. I don't know who took my name on Google Play Games, but if you could give it to me, that'd be nice. It's probably just me on another account, if I'm being honest, and I just don't realize it. So once you're sure that you have your correct profile, you wanna hit looks good in the bottom right. It's gonna say terms and conditions. You guys wanna read through these. Make sure you agree to the Google Play Games terms of service. And then once you've read them, hit accept in the bottom right. And this here, I would recommend unchecking. This says help improve your Google Play Games experience by automatically sending game platform diagnostic and app usage data to Google. Personally, I don't like things tracking me and using my data, but if you guys don't mind that, you can leave it on, but I'm just gonna leave that option off. Now we're gonna hit the green finish button in the bottom right. Quick interruption, but trust me, you guys don't wanna skip this. I'm doing a one month Discord Nitro giveaway once we reach 1000 members inside of the Discord server. If you guys haven't joined my Discord server yet, come join Fusion Here Cord. We have a bunch of channels, a bunch of emojis. There's always people in here talking and being active. And guys, like I said, once we reach 1,000 members, which we're less than 100 away from, I'm gonna be giving away one month of Discord Nitro. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the Discord. And let me know if you came from this video. And immediately, once we're done with that, we're brought to Clash of Clans, which is something I wanted to test out. So let's install Clash of Clans. Uh-oh, it says turn on virtualization settings. Additional settings including Windows Hypervision platform must be turned on to install and play most games on this PC. All right, so we're gonna hit continue. And once again, Windows is asking us yes or no, do you wanna allow this app to make changes to your device? It's installing Hypervision, we're gonna hit yes. And I see we do have this pop up in the bottom left here that says to install and play most games, turn on additional settings. I'm gonna hit continue here. Okay, it brings us back to this same thing again. All right, and now it says you'll need to restart your computer for Windows Hypervision platform to take effect. Want to restart now? You guys are gonna hit yes. I'll be right back. I actually have to restart my PC as well. All right, I restarted the PC and now we're back here on Google Play Games. So let's go ahead and install Clash of Clans on our PC. I'm gonna hit the green install button. 
and it says it's downloading. I also want to check out to see if they have Call of Duty Mobile on here because that would be crazy if you could play Call of Duty Mobile on PC. Let's head over to Explore. No, they don't have Call of Duty on here. Submit feedback. I'm sending a feedback saying add Call of Duty Mobile to Google Play Games on PC. But that's alright, we can still test out Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. Let's install Clash Royale. Now heading over to my library here, we can see that I have Clash of Clans. Let's launch it up and see how it plays. Press Shift Tab to exit the game, open controls and more. Load Village, Chief Fusion Here 2's Village. So yeah, this is actually my second account. My main account, I have Town Hall 10, a lot more stuff, but I guess my second account is linked to this Google account. Let's load it on up. So now that I'm signed in here, it looks like it's having me attack my own village. I think Clash of Clans does this after you haven't played for a while. You have to kind of beat your own village. Looks like I have balloons, wizards, and archers, as well as lightning spells. Let's try to take out this air defense and this air sweeper. All right. We're doing pretty good. No, our balloons. Am I not going to take down my own base? Oh, I'm getting troops back. All right. Put some more wizards down here. Am I going to get more balloons, though? Looks like we just keep getting more wizards. It's all right. I think we can take out the rest of my base with just wizards. Another lightning spell there. Oh, there we go. We finally got seven more balloons. All right, well, this this was pretty pathetic. I needed the reinforcements in order to beat my own base. I mean, I'm telling you guys, if this was my main account, it wouldn't have been this hard for me, but... Oh, wow. The builder hut's all the way over here. Will that take it out? Nope. All right, well, we took out our base. Let's go. And yeah, guys, I mean, it's Clash of Clans, and uh, we're playing it on PC. It's smooth. It's HD. Let's unlock this gem box here. Why are there all these orange arrows? What's going on? I remember it said press shift and tab. Oh yeah, here we go. From in here we can exit full screen. We can turn up or down the volume or mute the volume. As well as we can control the resolution. We could set it all the way down to 960 by 540. That's a very weird resolution. But nonetheless, it's working really well. It's smooth, it's HD. You know, this, this is good, this is playable. If you want to play Clash of Clans or another mobile game on your PC, definitely check this out, guys. Let's launch up Clash Royale. That's right, I didn't think about the fact that Clash Royale is vertical, but... Hey, it still works perfectly fine. Looks like I'm not in a clan anymore. I haven't been on Clash Royale in a long time. Yo, I have free emotes in the shop to claim. Naughty or nice. Free. Let me take that, as well as this free emote as well. Let's go check out those new free emotes we just got. Alright, that's the goblin one. And then this looks like a Santa Claus one. Alright, so that's cool. Some little Christmas emotes. They've added a lot more emotes from the last time I've played. I say we do a quick battle to finish the video off. I haven't played this game in a long time, but this deck has always done me well. I bet you I can win with it still. Alright, this guy's going down. That's fine. Drag the Valkyrie over there. Oh, what a fool. The log should block any hits from getting off. No! Alright. Well, at least it only got one hit off. Alright, I'm thinking we go in for a new attack. Hog Rider Goblin Barrel. Yes, we're gonna take out his first tower there. And this is gonna be a good fireball for us to use here. Throw down the princess to help take out that baby dragon.
Oh, I didn't have to use that skeleton army, but it's alright. Alright, he hasn't seen me use the Inferno Tower yet. I'm gonna put it down here, take down his Valkyrie. I just realized this guy is only a level 10, I'm a level 12. This is so unfair. Why would he use that? That's gonna get taken out by the Inferno Tower. Alright, time to go. Full attack time. If he's smart, he'll use his log here. Alright, this guy's a goner. Time to go full force. Spam mode. Okay, I'm gonna fireball that. Go! Oh yeah, easy three crown. Let's go! Let's drop an emote on him. That's right, baby. First game back in who knows how long. It wants me to rate the game. Let's go, baby. Alright guys, I think that wraps up it here. We can exit out of Clash Royale. What do you guys think about Google Play games? Let me know down in the comments below. I want to read your comments. I love interacting with the community. Will you guys be using this to play your mobile games on PC? So guys, this has been how to play mobile games on PC using the new Google Play games. Note it's just in beta right now. I'm sure it's going to get even better. And I bet we can expect to see Call of Duty Mobile on it in the future. And that's going to be crazy. If they do bring Call of Duty Mobile to Google Play Games, I'll make a video covering that. So if you guys want more videos like this, showing you how to do stuff with technology and make your life easier and better, make sure you guys drop a like on the video as well as subscribe to Fusion here and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And anyways, guys, this has been Josh Refusion here. I love you guys. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.